Sean Connery. You know what? You don't think I'm Sean Connery? <laughs> well, I'm Holly McLean. And I'm Jill Savory. And, and we're, we're McLean, McLean Adventures. Adventures. You know, I do get mistaken for Sean Connery a lot when I'm dressed up <laughs> like this. So, Jill, what does dragons and castles and monsters, golf, curling, whiskey, and steam trains have in common? What? Scotland! That's where our next Adventure of a Lifetime is going to be in August of 2022. So our adventure starts off in one of my favorite places. I actually lived there for a few years and it's London. There are so many things to see and do in this wonderful city, this really old city too. We're going to try and stay in the Goring, one of the most amazing hotels. It's actually where the royal family sometimes stays. And when you arrive, they greet you in top hats, all the fancy fanciness, the, the high tea, the rooms are stunning. It's actually really, really steps away from Buckingham Palace. It kind of acts like the guest house of Buckingham Palace. So, And then one of the cool things is, oh, a decade or two ago, they were uh, actually doing some excavating in London, building a new uh, high rise, and they found this buried uh, chamber and they opened it up and it was actually Churchill's war rooms. And when the war ended, literally that day, they closed it up and forgot about it. And we go on these tours and and there's Churchill's cigar still sitting in the ashtray, and it's left exactly the way it was the day the war ended. And that is uh, just a spectacular tour to go on. And then one of my favorite things is to hit the London Theatre District, and we'll see a show there or two. Then from London, we're off to... Glasgow. We'll get on the train, and we'll head up to Glasgow to start our Scottish part of our adventure. Then from Glasgow, we will drive through one of their great national parks. And matter of fact, one of the scenes from 007, we drive right through that valley. And then we end up in the little town of Tobleberry. Beautiful that? Yeah, it's a quaint, quaint little fishing village. The buildings are all different colors. It's really old. There's actually a, a whiskey distillery there. Huh! Funny you should mention that. There's a whiskey dis distillery, the Tobomary Distillery from 1798. It's crazy old. And, and they have great fishing there. And so that means that you get to eat great seafood. Matter of fact, in Tobomary is one of our top 10 most amazing restaurants in the world called Fish Cafe. And remember that we go there and it's got it maybe sits like maybe 20 people. And it's the two little ladies that uh, own this place and they go out fishing every day and whatever they catch, they bring back and cook for dinner. It's on the menu. And I remember the first time I went there, I was talking to them, I go, you have absolutely the most wonderful seafood restaurant. And they kind of laughed and pointed at the wall behind me. And there it was like 20 years in a row voted the number one seafood restaurant <laughs> in all of the United Kingdom. The last time we were there, we actually were walking around the town. It's kind of in a U-shaped. And someone was just riding and playing back. So and you just feel like you're in Scotland every minute. And the fog was rolling in off the ocean, and it was so cool. And the, and the distillery there is a very, very good distillery. They make wonderful whiskeys. And they have, a, they have the original bar that you can still go in at night. And in the corner, they just have a peat fireplace, a peat fire burning in the floor, on the floor. And uh, I remember one night we were there, and some of the local musicians just came in and started playing Scottish folk music. And it was just a truly magical evening. Uh, with the with the, the Scottish music and the and the whiskey and the fog and all that. So then that's also right next to our old family homestead because we're on the Isle of Mole and the McLean of Duart Castle is there.
and it's one of the only castles that has been continually lived in uh, since it was originally built. And what's really cool is, is we're up in the Scottish Highlands, Highlands and we're just driving through the countryside and so forth. So there in Fort William is the home of the Jacobite steam train. And how many of you have seen Harry Potter? Well, this is where they filmed the Hogwarts Express and on this exact same steam engine. And as a matter of fact, this train ride is considered one of the top most spectacular train rides that you can take anywhere in the world. It ranks right up there with the Glacier Express. And this train uh, wanders through all, remember all the mountains and the fog and, uh, gorgeous. and the valleys. It, it just feels so special because it was part of the movie um, and you just get taken back in time. And you go across the Glenfinnan uh, Viaduct, which is uh, absolutely this gorgeous uh, stone viaduct. And it is so easy to imagine, you know, Harry Potter and the guys uh, flying around on their on their brooms and, and looking, seeing dragons coming around and so forth. And it just would not be a McLean adventure without a steam train ride. That's right. <laughs> so from there, we will then work our way towards Loch Ness and hopefully maybe even see the Loch Ness Monster. And then from there, we'll go on to Inverness. And then from Inverness, we'll end up in Edinburgh. Edinburgh is a wonderful, really old historic city um, you can see a castle and a palace and walk all along the way these historic buildings There's so much to see in Edinburgh, but while we're there something special happens. It's called the tattoo So the Tattoo Festival is, I first heard about it on reading a book of the top 10 bucket list items that you must do in your life uh, that you've never heard of. And this was number one. And several million people come to this month-long event. And it's right on the parade grounds. And at night, where the castle's up on the hill, they have a waterfall of fireworks and all the military tattoo bands playing. It will be a spectacular a uh, couple of days there in Edinburgh. It even ends with firework. Oh yeah. Display. So. And one thing that we haven't really talked about that will be an option is golf. Golf. Uh, Scotland's the home of golf, and very close by to Edinburgh actually is St Andrews, the true home of golf. And so we can set up um, some golfing adventures for those who want to golf, or other things, um, you know, museum tours and and whiskey distillery tastings and things like that for people to choose, pick and choose what they would like to do. So what's a little bit unique about this adventure is it's going to be a lot more customized to the group. And these are just some tentative ideas that we'll be putting together on this adventure of Scotland. Once we get our group together, then we will finalize the itinerary and finalize the dates. But it will be in August of 2022, probably about the middle part. So. Once again, I'm Holly McLean. And Jill Savory. And we're McLean Adventures. Adventures.